Oh, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chaff, and we're back again with a new video. This is a video by Sean Head. Um, she kind of changed from what I remember. I remember she was kind of cute. Um, she, okay, war on normal guys. Let's go. Conspiracy theorist YouTuber Wendigo. with several million subscribers has uh -huh. a dark past with deep ties to far right dark extremism. Past. Wendigoon is very publicly friends with Turkey Tom. He is friends with. Oh Wendigo. no. He is publicly friends with Shu on him. Hey. Who is a conservative masquerading as a leftist. Conservative. Okay, first off, am I the only person that hates when people start talking about left, right, center shit? Like that is so global that is that is you can't just say oh you're left what does that even mean brother that doesn't tell me shit a few days ago i saw right, this or... video pop up in my youtube oh. feed what's up bad conservative hey, horror movies bad and i was immediately intrigued movies. i love long video essays about stupid shit like this but what i got instead Same. was the worst attempt at a hit piece i have ever seen on what youtube is a hit piece? ever so sit down and get comfy because right. it's time for an old-fashioned video response Video your response youtube's biggest cry bully cry now before we bully? get to this video i just cry. want to thank today's does he cry or sponsor you this video oh. is sponsored by all of you who donate to Aww. me on well, patreon.com do thank Good you job, all boys. very much Girls. i made you some cookies oh, these shit. are just for the people who support okay me. first off that does not look good that i don't know but that looks i love chocolate on cookies patreon. only mm. they get a cookie not you i see you freeloader Anyway, That's I've been me. pretty busy lately loader. doing personal life things, but when this went down, I was like, I can't not respond okay, to what this. Happened? But by the time I was done with the script, yeah, the man had already deleted the video after it was downvoted to hell. But even Bro, though why do you delete? Like, first off, in order to see downvote, you need to install an external app shit. And then who YouTube doesn't care about damn votes. Why do you care about damn votes? That's more exposure. Well, the video is gone. I what still want hell? to respond to it for three okay, reasons. Maybe it was One, that bad. I am directly involved in this. Uh -huh. Two, I'm tired of these type of people running their mouths. And three, this Me topic mouths? is pretty timeless. And that topic is what I like to call the war on normal guys. Last year, I wrote I a, a normal guy? for a video with this title, and it was about oh, the YouTuber no. Wendigoon being cancelled on Twitter. Is for those goon? of you who don't know, Wendigoon is a popular YouTuber who makes video about true crime, horror, and cool. cryptids. And no, despite cryptids. popular belief, Wendigoon has nothing to do with gooning. Wendigoon Are you sure about that, though? Like, that did not seem completely confident. Is what most YouTubers <laughs> who don't make political videos should be. His channel is completely apolitical. I don't like clicking a video about iCarly and then having to listen to you about how much you hate Trump. Or clicking a video about Fallout and hearing you go off about how Joe well, Biden sucks. I don't- Okay, listen. Fallout Universe is- I mean, it has politics, but- yeah, I guess mentioning real life part. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. If I wanted to hear Milktoast political yeah. opinions, I would Milk watch my those. own videos. But no, Damn. despite being non-political, Wendigoon is a great channel. He uh -huh. has a good community. He's very positive. He's a Sunday school teacher. He has a beautiful nice. wife. He's friendly, funny, and kind. Show? Which, wife? of course, makes him an enemy to the most annoying people on Earth. Which month are? after month after month, I would see threads on Twitter and on Reddit about how what a terrible person Wendigoon was. But when I would go is searching he? for reasons why there was really nothing besides vibes Vi i simply do not like i mean listen sometimes vibes are you can tell a lot from vibes okay but Wendigoon. he has Bro, bad vibes video? coming off him like stinky lines like stinky. the vibes on this guy have never been right i live in the bible belt he has the vibes of the kids who would what is the Bible Belt? Bro, this video is confusing me mentally and physically. I'm uncomfortable saying racist and homophobic slurs and bullied me in grade school. He always gave me weird vibes. You were bullied in grade school? Bro, get, it was grade school. Get over it. Vibes. Deeply uncomfortable vibes from this guy. I Solid initially state. unfollowed him because I started getting weird vibes I, from him. First there off, are... this looks like half of those comments were from Reddit. And pretty much most people on Reddit are absolute weirdos, so... They don't Evil count like people. Surrounding Same with man. X. Wait, okay, what Twitter, did? whatever the fuck. Ah, bye, job, but, hey. Some people got weird vibes, and that's fair. It's rare to see youth pastors. Okay, that is not. Okay, listen. <laughs> youth pastors get bad rep. Like, obviously, some of them touch kids, which is very bad, but, like, not the all of them touch kids. Come what on, bro. <laughs> do? Honestly, a lot of it is just the vibes. I needed so it's more. It's just the vibes. I needed to hear some no real concrete proof that the dude is a piece of shit. Guy. Okay. I needed real arguments. <laughs> I needed a living soy jack meme with a pedo mustache and bi. Hey, yo. lighting to string up and beat like a pinata. Wait, Enter what's wrong nowadays with being bisexual? Isn't like the best sexual? Because you fuck everybody. God. 
Here in Praise of Shadows, aka Zane, a lot of this video essay is straight out of the aging millennial hipster factory. Seriously, why do they all look like this? this? What genre of man is this? The mustache, the hair, the clothing, post-ironic neo-redneck? You know how some people talk about how women's taste in men gets all weird and f***ed up when they're on birth control? These are the men. I'm gonna call them birth- Who talks about that? Bro, I'm out of the circle! control hot. I'm in no position to talk Word about style. Hot. I still do my makeup like it's 2009. Zane is a horror- hey, I'll be honest with you, when I was in uh, high school, a teacher of mine used to do her makeup exactly like her. And my teacher was like 60. So, uh... Movie video essayist who for some reason yeah, decided I mean, to would, randomly go still. after Wendigoon and several other popular YouTubers the teacher and as well. myself. His video starts off with him complaining that he got a lot of hate for his take about the movie Hills Have Eyes. The hill Hills people have... can be representative of anything that you want them to be, really. They can be Native Americans, and the hills themselves can be allegorical of them being forced back onto reservations. What? Okay. You saw a bunch of can- Okay. How the fuck did we come up to that? What? Brother? Thought of Native Americans? Yeah, okay. Anyway, he goes on to talk about how people were misrepresenting <laughs> him and leaving rude comments. The cruel and untrue things that you say about another person do in fact have direct impacts on them and the way that people culturally see them. Are these your own genuine original thoughts and criticisms like the Indians? that you have based on my actual words and things that I have done? Oh, that maybe you haven't Bro, listen, everybody that talks like this guy talks is... A in my book, is an absolute cunt. Listen, if a sentence doesn't need 15,000 words to say what you want to say, just use just use your words, about brother. Don't use so many of them that like, don't mean online. shit. About other people. And about how after Who you video, mean to me, a lot of hey, his subscribers I said the same you said. Him, and now he's poor and can't afford rent. There was a month Damn. last year where I only made $500 in ad revenue. I can't live off that. Which, if you're ever at this point... Okay, listen. First off, when people watch your videos on YouTube and they, you get ad revenue from that, they don't, nobody on YouTube has to, it's free content, right? So you should be happy with whatever you get. Y'all get what I mean? Like, you need to you get should a job like, or at least a side job. That's capitalism meritocracy. Yeah. Either make better content or get a job. Hey, maybe if we get communism, you can be the community YouTuber. <laughs> if we get communism, people, yeah. Listen, first off, fuck communism. I was in a country that was commie up until close by, so. No, I'm just kidding. Your ass is going to the mines. Then finally, probably exactly what happened. Video, he gets to the topic, conservative horror movies. But then That's suddenly, true. seemingly out of nowhere, it was like he accidentally uploaded a schizophrenic meltdown. Chapter 4, Windy. If you're not aware- Okay, first off, I still don't know what a, a conservative horror movie is. Can, is the horror movie conservative? Did the people that make the horror movie look at it? Is it for conservatives? I'm confused. Windagoon is a horror conspiracy theorist YouTuber with several million subscribers that, as you will hopefully come to see, should not be seen as the wholesome, southern, friendly dad persona that he has publicly constructed around himself in the past several years. And that, like many people who talk about being Christians as much as he does, has a dark past with deep ties to far-right extremism. Okay, I don't think... Okay. Ooh, this let's sounds pretty bad. Let's, let's... He's not the heck of a wholesome what? YouTube it's guy we all thought. What could he have possibly done? There are many things that are red flags that we could talk about. He has a gun. bizarre gun, gun ownership. He's American. Yikes! An American man owns guns? He's American, not very heckin' wholesome, Wendigoon. He goes on to talk about how Wendigoon is rich. Right. And At this point, it's weird if you're American and you don't own the gun. Come on. Or he doesn't respect Wendigoon's opinion I almost owned the gun in America. I probably he shouldn't say that. He but... wealthy by the time that he was <laughs> 19 or 20. I have... No need or desire to hear five hours of opinions on Blood Meridian from a 21-year-old millionaire. Like, what exactly is the correct amount of money to have where your opinions still matter? Like, if you suddenly got a bunch of video views and a bunch of patrons like you want, would we be justified in dismissing your opinions on movies? This honestly just feels yeah, like well, a conservative's idea weird. of what a leftist is. Like, it's not just about hating people for having money. Like, what is Wendigoon's position of power in relation to the means of production? Does he own a business? Does he have employees he's mistreating? Not that I know of. He's just a guy who makes YouTube okay, videos. Eminem's kind like of you. bopping. Only difference is he's good at it and makes money, and you're not, and you don't. Okay, for Damn. real though, there's there's got to be more, hey, right? What crimes has Wendigoon committed? Would well, to start, Wendigoon? he committed the crime of 
having friends. Wendigoon oh, is very shit. publicly friends with Turkey. How dare he? Tom. They have been seen together on multiple occasions, and oh, I've no. seen online mentions that Tom was either at his wedding or at the very least was invited. They have been okay. seen. First off, is this? Am I the only one feeling kind of creepy about some dude stalking another dude online just to? wreck his character together like, i have seen online mentions that he was at his wedding do something to that guy i'm Khan confused wanted for murder and not like he just said some slurs on discord when he was a teenager does this guy vet oh, like shit. every single person he's ever been friends with or spoken to hey before you enter my house i'm gonna have to go through your discord history from seven years ago i was gonna say no oh but shit <laughs> I can see this guy doing that. Wendigoon is publicly friends with Donut Operator. Hey, and I've watched Donut's videos. Donut's dope. What do you mean? We did a photograph of the two of them hugging. Donut, Donut is Operator nice. Is a gun crazed, very far away right YouTuber crazed. with 4 million subscribers. Wait, his content. Very far, okay, from his content, I've not gotten that he's very far right. I, I mean, he's, uh, he was a police officer, he was on the SWAT team, of course. He's very pro-state, pro-cop, pro-gun, and pro-death to people who don't share his beliefs propaganda. What? For example, one of his videos is titled, Predator Takes Shotgun to the Face. I love the example he used is a literal pedophile being killed. He's very pro-death for people who don't share his beliefs. Take, for example- Okay, I have seen that channel. He's not pro-death. I mean, first off, he's doing the YouTube thing. You gotta- the titles and thumbnail. Well, this Come on. Is that what? what you mean by people Plus, who don't share his I mean, To be honest, oh, I hmm, should not say it on YouTube, but. Beliefs? Mm. Out of all the videos, mm. why that? One? Kind of, You're not going to find many people you know, who are going to be like, oh no, the poor eh? child molester. Well, maybe you will, but most people will. Also, <laughs> he's trying to act like Donut Operator is just a complete simp for the police, and he's really not. Who's Even a cop? in the screenshot you show in the background, there's like three whole videos in frame where he's clearly being critical of the yeah. police. I don't for so someone who supposedly like is so very anti-government, Wendigoon seems very comfortable with a man who makes his living it, worse. Has any, is he? Is, the, is Wendigoon actually anti-government? Does he mention that? Does he make videos? I don't know. He's a horror YouTuber. The what? State. And the only thing is that we can on? reasonably gather from this picture of them hugging is that he too is a fascist bootlicker himself. How do you get that picture from two dudes hugging? You have no context on the hug. You have no context on the dudes. You are you got their mind? Actually, yes, we can't are. reasonably gather anything because you what? haven't given us anything to gather. True. You label this guy very far right, and he might be very far right. But you haven't shown anything very yes. far right. Like, take a step back and evaluate the bare basics of what you just showed us. When Dagoon hugging someone who thinks it's okay when a pedophile dies. Okay, but let's be fair. Maybe there's more. Well, Maybe there's something drinking the white worse. monster. That's kind of... He's friends yeah. with Brandon Buckingham, a Brandon? gun YouTuber who has been accused of threatening rape. Okay, so first of all, let's rewind. Whoa. This guy is not a gun tuber. This just proved this man did absolutely no research. I'm talking like two seconds going to this guy's Okay, I don't channel. know that dude. I'm amount of research and for those who are unaware that rape thing is a complete lie it is a complete lie God, made I hate up when by just say shit like sit that. down sneeko sneeko made that up and wait sneeko the dude that got beaten by uh sean strickland that's all i know about sneeko had to apologize because i watched and admit scene. it was a lie because it was literal slander i just love Bruh. how in his little bread tube tryout video he uses sneeko as a fucking source i mean it's not like his other sources are any better his other sources being Reddit. He got like 90% of this information <laughs> from a thread about Wendigoon in a drama subreddit called a drama R YouTube Super. Drama. This man like borderline plagiarized Reddit comments. Source, pee pee poo poo one, two, three, and sneak up. Listen, I'm on Reddit, like not a lot, but sometimes I go on Reddit to watch news and shit. And I read it's full of weirdos. Oh, nice I mean, job on the research, full of weirdos, but... fucking hack. Also, I love the screenshot he's using. This you, bro. This you showing sympathy to someone whose grandfather is dying. He has oh, collaborated shit. with Nick Crowley, who constantly Nick? makes Wait. money through the most... Wait, I think I've seen Nick Crowley. Some of his con what is going on? Shameful, true Am I far right as well? Of showcasing the last minutes of people before they are suddenly and unexpectedly killed. So I don't know much about this guy, but it seems like your issue with him is that he makes true crime content. I mean, personally, I'm not a huge fan of true crime content but it's extremely popular on youtube crowley oh, it's is similar fun. to windigoon and that on the surface they seem fairly edgy but oh. clean enough oh, but then oh you do they see many of that less than 200 people they don't see many of that of them are the same circle with names like windigoon plagued moth turkey tom mr ballin and donut opera hey, on the surface mr ballin is do well, okay now mr ball is back they look clean enough to pass the vibe check. But then you look closer and notice he follows people who don't pass the vibe check. These people hate the police and yet they're always like... 
uh, sir, I'm going to have to take a look at that Twitter follow list. <laughs> Just absolute cop behavior. A cab includes the follow police. Windigoon is publicly friends with Brandon Herrera. Hey. Who has okay. made jokes okay, that bro, you need to chill now. I just watched this video like two days ago. Brandon is dope as hell. ...that he was sympathetic with public shooters who killed leftists. I've also what? seen people insinuate that Herrera was with Windigoon in the days of being part of the Boogaloo movement. Nazi but I cannot find substantial song. proof on if this is true or not. But I've seen several comments saying this. So online, it is at least culturally believed to be true. Okay, I can write like five different comments from that. Five different accounts. That you're a cunt. That does not make it so. But by sounding watching a video of you i can kind of you know the hey tools that it is like that but... well it doesn't work like that i don't have any proof but it's culturally believed to be yeah, true yeah what friends with oompaville a gun obsessed okay, content know. creator oompaville. oompaville what the hell did oompaville do Was oompaville? he's not even political whatsoever i guess that's the problem isn't it if you but use no, a gun you're bad, bad now if you but you're american even maybe once. he's not american this but these america. dudes are it's like saying you're a bad person if you ate a cheeseburger yeah, I've shot other guns. example of oompaville being bad, bad is making videos about nikocado avocado as if anyone and their mother has not made a nikocado avocado video this is ridiculous there's there has to be more he is friends with mudahar mudahar, mudahar. who's mudahar, mudahar. Really? If someone can't okay. be friends with Mudar, at this point we're dissing everybody. What is they going can't be on? Friends with anyone? That dude is like so not problematic. And has recently showcased a great deal of transphobia in his most recent videos. Okay, nothing in Mudahar's video was transphobic at all. I don't even know why I have to entertain this. Simply talking about a trans person isn't transphobia, and I wish that we Wait, could okay. like move. But past isn't if you talk about a trans person and somebody assumes that you're hateful to us, and isn't that? being hateful huh huh reverse psychology or no psychology fuck it i just say it. it's true trans it's all like internet goddamn beings and not like these like delicate <clears throat> little angels that we need to like step on eggshells around it's really weird who argued against Boom. andrew tate being deplatformed from social media websites as People he should be andrew tate's a pedophile sex trafficker and all that above what do you the mean concept of free speech for everyone wow just like the Nazis. Well, this is what really. you're using okay, to Okay, so Mudahar. don't think about... I mean, homie's in prison now for the second time. As a bad like, person. Like, is not in good. Order to paint Wendigoon as a bad person. Yeah, what you're happened to Wendigoon? Paint, bro. Wendigoon is publicly okay, connected back to, to the Wendigoon. internet historian. Oh, and has God. even appeared in his video. Okay, well, they the historian now? The internet historian publicly said that his birthday was April 20th. It is not. And has only said that as a joke because that is Hitler's birthday. Ah yes, April twentieth, Hitler's birthday. There are no I other jokes around the number know. 420. It's a f weed I joke. I did not know about Hitler's. I just found out. Oh, it's like has... making a joke about the number sixty-nine. This is either extremely dishonest manipulation, I'm... saying April twentieth instead of the number four twenty, so people wouldn't notice, or you are profoundly mentally retarded, sir. Who the f is a joke about four twenty and automatically <laughs> thinks Hitler? I'll tell you who. Somebody with preconceived notions about others. Everyone is already a bigot, so everything they say is bigoted, instead of the other way around. Looking at bigotry and coming to the conclusion that that person's a bigot. No, you I have this insane hater tunnel vision, microphone. which is why you're coming to insane conclusions like this. Yeah, you talked about the time mind. that Nick Spears did a video about the disturbing movie Iceberg, who is a great horror trans creator, and in the con- Okay, is it mean to say that her face looked like an egg? Because it did. But ...of her video. He said, we will be watching your career with great interest. Which is whoa, just kind of gross. That is a line from How Star is... Wars. You really First of all, even if it wasn't, watching her career is not her. How is that weird? Being friendly with a trans oh person. The trans person being friendly back and came to the conclusion that this was transphobia? For f sake, man, she oo-wooed at him. <laughs> have you ever sat back and thought, them. hey, maybe <laughs> if I have to squint my eyes and tilt my head and glue my balls to my butthole in order to paint these people as Nazis, maybe they're not Nazis? He has interacted positively with Garanthum, who has said, the traditional family- I've watched Garanthum, he's dope as hell. Wow, can't cry my back. Now. To be encouraged and strengthened. I see little to no support from the government or big media. <gasps> traditional families? Not traditional families! This is how you know this video was made for one type of person and that type Which of person Which type of person? Only. Morons? Are, are we supposed to be mad at that? For someone who is supposedly anti-government. He sure does How? seem to have a lot of wealthy white friends who actively work to uphold the values of the American Empire. For someone who likes Empire. the government so much, they sure have a lot of wealthy Empire. white friends who hold up the American Empire. What the f*** are you saying? It's like lefty mad libs. He's just chucking a bunch of buzzwords at the wall. Is American Empire?
definition of an empire was a, a country that holds different a lot of different cultures like vastly because it vastly expanded right wasn't that i don't think it works it's nowadays six uh, uh capitalism cops white <sighs> American Empire. Again, he sounds like a conservative's idea of what a lefty would sound like. He sounds like a f***ing Daily Wire sketch character. Daily he goes Wire. on to talk about more Twitter accounts Wendigoon follows and how some of those accounts have liked problematic tweets. Now, oh. see, I always thought fascism was hyper-nationalistic authoritarianism, but apparently it's actually when you follow people on Twitter that Walmart Noah Samson doesn't like. He has publicly interacted in a friendly Rock way solid. with the account Rock Solid on multiple occasions. Responding to someone on Twitter makes you best friends with that person. Yeah, bro. Hey, by the way, like, If this... you follow somebody, you probably follow them for one reason. It doesn't mean you agree with everything they do in life. Come do you, on, bro. This you being friendly with YouTuber Sophie from Mars, oh, who shit. is allegedly an oh, abuser. Shit. Is that you, bro? Because according to your own logic mine, that makes you and her friends <laughs> which makes you a bad person and personally Nap. i'd rather be friends with people who make jokes on the internet than someone who allegedly puts cigarettes out on their girlfriend's skin but honestly i wouldn't hold this against him how is he Fuck. supposed to know you uh, throw true, a dart into yeah. a crowd of these people and you're bound to hit a sex pest he is publicly friends with on on YouTube him, nowadays. who is a conservative masquerading oh, as a leftist who has built a career off of lazy anti-woke content complaining about sjw's who says stuff like, Karl Marx rising from the grave finding out his movement has been taken over by fat, ugly, mentally ill losers. I mean... <laughs> okay, I mean... What's crazy is I could have given you like 20 examples of way worse <laughs> that I've said over the years, but instead you chose Probably. a random joke I made on Twitter. You just went to my Twitter and found like one of the last tweets I made. This you, Wendigoon? This you, bro? Congratulating someone on their wedding day? A conservative masquerading as a leftist is so funny too because like, what? What would be the point of that? Am I like, am I waiting for like a Soros check? It would be way more lucrative Soros as check. a woman on the internet to just be a conservative commentator instead of pissing off all sides like I do. Also the term publicly friends with is so funny. He keeps saying it and like personally, it's hilarious to yeah, me I mean, because listen, I have to You're not friends with these people. You're at best an acquaintance with most people you interact with online. Like friends. Be privately friends with several public figures because they are prisoners to their own audience because their own audiences are full of people like this guy. So I have a lot Damn. of respect for people like Wendigoon who will just talk to anyone they want to and aren't yeah, scared of how the should tribalies. Be. Also, I think it's important to say Crybulies. Wendigoon and I talk on Twitter sometimes, but we're not like for that. best friends. I've, I've never even met him in real life. But because he has I the audacity to kinda. tweet at me, now all my opinions are his. And as for the lazy accusation, you got me. Honestly, this all would have bothered me way more like a few years ago, but I'm so over it now. Go ahead and call me what you like. I take solace in the fact that every woke idiot that comes at me eventually gets their own ass canceled into the shadow realm, and yet I remain problematic and a moron forever. And I personally can't wait until the inevitable the day an monster, army of skeletons though. comes marching Listen, out of your- the, the, I'm gonna be honest, we've seen a lot of bad shit in this video, but the white monster might be topping it all. What does bother Ugh. me, however, is linking Wendigoon to me in order to smear him. My friend and I aren't a hive mind. And that might be easy for You're most not, people to but understand, it's... but not for these people. People like this guy, they don't have friends. They have enemies and they have temporary allies. They have people temporary they hate and people they will eventually what? throw under the bus the second that person has a problematic tweet one day. He has said many times publicly that he oh, lives God. in East Tennessee. It is about as white as you could possibly get. Deep Appalachia is very white country. What does that mean? What, a, why, what is he getting from and that? for the most part, is exceptionally racist. Genuinely, okay. and that's fuck. You can't make conclusions about people like that. In this part of the country, that's you have to up. assume that any white person you Why? meet is racist. Why would you assume you that? Otherwise. Holy shit! How would you white assume that? from Appalachia are racist until proven otherwise. Should I, when I go to Alabama, should I immediately assume everybody's inbred until I call? Would I check otherwise? He's implying like, Wendigoon well, that's is crazy. racist because of where he's from. He literally yeah, has no wild. proof otherwise. No videos. Is everybody in America cast, a school shooter? Nothing shooter? That shows Wendigoon being racist. Unless but I you get see, shown out otherwise. He has to be. So because he's from Tennessee, he secretly must be. Making a broad negative generalization Not about white somebody monster, based on bro. their race, but wokely, so it's okay. Appalachia is one of the poorest areas in the country. And aren't you a uh. poor mother 
for two. I know you don't want to hear it, but the working class ah, revolution know. is not just going to be full of the purple haired Starbucks baristas. It's also going to be Billy Bob, the truck driver from Tennessee. Hey, I and like you have more Billy in Bob. common with those guys I don't know, than you do with Billy Bob is, rich bread cool. that you're trying to <laughs> suck the farts out of currently. So why don't you drop the smug liberal attitude and show some class solidarity, comrade? Then, of course, there is his username. To the Algonquin people, the Wendigo is a negative spiritual symbol. He has attempted to deflect. Okay, bro, how far is this dude? He's gonna reach so far, he's gonna reach his own asshole, the core of his being. From criticism over the Shit. use of the name by saying that his well, grandfather that, that was, was good. Named I'm, I'm proud of that. But I personally have to look at it from the <laughs> hypothetical perspective, where Which is? say I had a black or mixed grandfather in this situation, oh, and what? black people were telling me that I was doing something that was racist or offensive to them. I would then listen to what they were saying instead of claiming that I had the right to do it because I had some melanin in me. Especially if I were more or less raised within a primarily white cultural area like the Appalachian Mountains are. <laughs> and also on top of that, just, you know, frequently associated myself with white supremacists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where was the white supremacy? You spent like 10 minutes smearing a bunch of people Wendigoon talks to, but not once did you show any white supremacy. Again, just haphazardly throwing around lefty Bro, this buzzwords. Dude's a maniac. White supremacy. We could talk about his past and supposedly being a founding member in an online conspiracy theory group that, according to him, snowballed out of control into being a white supremacist neo-Nazi organization called the Boogaloo Boys. The in 2020, Boogaloo they killed Boys. several police officers in a drive-by shooting in Oakland, oh, hoping shit. that black people would be blamed for the violence in an attempt to create racial what? tension. So basically, Fuck. Wendigoon was part of a libertarian group that eventually became more extreme and radical over time, and he no longer agreed with the goals, so he left it and he disavowed it. Okay, isn't that what you want? For him to own up to his mistakes and take accountability? You'd have a point if he was still involved Bro, in this group, wild, or I'm, even if he was part of the group so many topics, I'm very confused things, now. But he wasn't. Should it's I so hate everybody? Should I love everybody? We made Am I racist? That the Boogaloos killed cops in order to blame it on black people, but I couldn't find that literally anywhere. In fact, I found the exact opposite. The Boogaloo boys find? made sure people knew it was done oh by my them. God. And it wasn't Damn. to spark a race Maniacs. war, it was to spark more anti-government sentiment. The Boogaloo boys are a radical libertarian group. They hate cops. So I think this guy made Wait, up but this are thing about him not. wanting to blame oh, black God. people. What so is... people in his audience... <laughs> Bro, my brain is overheating. What is going on in this video? Boys were cool. Yeah, they killed cops, but not in the based cool way we want to kill cops. This is probably the most damn. damning evidence they have against Wendigoon, even though he's not involved in this group anymore. But they still f it up. Zane was liking tweets from people, glazing him, telling him what an amazing job he was doing for finally going after Wendigoon. Really? A glorious Reddit white knight basking in the attention and glory of finally slaying the bad vibes dragon. I mean, his video had like 9k likes. That's a decent amount of likes. So people... Oh, while Wendigoon left a nice comment on the guy's video, telling people not to be mean to this guy. Oh, well, that God, sign won't stop me comment. because I can't read. One comment I found Smart. on this guy's video was like, loving the Wendigoon fanboy is trying to deny that he's conservative. He'll get away with it because he's popular though. He'll get away with it. Get away with what? The crime? Yeah, boy, it's not a crime. You can be whatever the fuck you want. You live in a free country, motherfuckers. Of being popular online what? while not agreeing with you politically? Is that what this expose is about? Wendigoon exposed, not a communist. Good. Nobody gives a sh So what if he's a conservative? Fuck is that a problem? Which, the answer to that is yes. But the reason that I care is because this does not belong in yeah, horror. Why put those things anywhere. behind it? I care deeply about horror. And everything that he does has demonstrated- You have not shown any care about horror so far in this video, you stupid cunt. What do you mean? And so far in his career, that he should not be welcomed in our spaces. Our- Or even- Our space? You don't own shit, pussy. You can't- You can't- What? You know- You can't say who can and general. cannot do shit. What? Okay, okay. It doesn't First work of all, like I'm sure you it's nobody internet. wants to be in your space, bro. Imagine the smell. <laughs> but second of all, in public? Wendigoon should not be allowed in public spaces. Wendigoon should not be allowed to exist in society because Damn. he is Twitter friends with people this guy disagrees with on Twitter. Should not be accepted with society though. at all. They should not be celebrated. They should be treated for what they are. Because, Which is? remember kids. Okay, okay, this guy, I hate how he starts to talk about something, but then just cuts off the sentence. Like, we're supposed to be able to read his fucking mind. What should he be treated like? Explain, you fuck. 
But somebody the showed you who pissing they me are. off straight on. Believe them. Talk. Well, you've told us you're a lying, manipulative hack, and I believe you. And not a good manipulator. But actions, words, you're and even comments he left on your video tell us he's a good person. You're so lost in the sauce, you don't even realize lost all you sauce. did to the average viewer <laughs> was make this guy seem. What he did to the average viewer is confuse the fucking shit out of me. I don't know what's happening anymore. Besides that, he's a cunt. Well, that I know that, but like, like a kind person who learns and grows from his mistakes. These flimsy accusations and guilt by associations may work for the NPCs in your audience who already hated Wendigoon based on vibes. But you need to bring vibes. more to the table than unsourced <laughs> Reddit comments. Oh, if you're trying God. to convince the average person who isn't terminally online that this guy deserves to be ostracized, well, you can be terminally online. Just don't be in one political group. I guess that that would probably not be good for your online health and offline health guys from society the fact is most people have friends they don't politically agree with most people make edgy jokes yes i have a friend that is extremely on the edgy side many people are into guns many support yeah, the guns police are cool. and most what? enjoy when pedophiles police are die cool. these things you listed as like crimes Maybe outside of America. friends have done in order to smear windagoon do not make them fascists or nazis they make them normal people. At the end of the day, this was just a witch hunt Represent. against a normal guy. But to these people, that is the enemy. The normal guy. The normal they guy. can dress it up however they want, but at the end of the day, that's hey, what this video was. So An drop. attack on normal guys. And it's always been a war on normal guys. But hey, I'm glad you deleted the video. Hopefully you Why learned from this. Why did he delete the video, bro? Like, I don't get it. Like... It seems like he but was confused about it. Discord messages, you haven't. Anyway, that was that video. I just really Wait, what, wanted to what the this, hell is that? according to your Discord... Wait, yeah, no way in the video is actually feeling what I said. Lord, the only part of some individual things are wrong, but don't... You deleted the video. What do you mean? How are they supposed to refute? Maybe nobody watched the video. Discord messages. How will they watch it anymore? Anyway, that was that video. I just really wanted to stick up for someone who absolutely did not deserve all the hate. Thank you again Wait, to everyone get even... who donates okay. to me on Patreon. First off, did he even get any hate from this? Seems like the video might have popped up a little bit and then died off. Seems like... Uh, uh, Windy Goon is way bigger. I mean, he goons, so shit makes sense, right? <laughs> anyway, please let me know what you think about this. I'm very confused. He, that dude, name dropped like most of the creators I watch. With the, he called them fascists. Am I fat? Am I racist now? I'm confused. Are we all racist? Is everybody racist? Is everybody fascist? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are we racist? And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.